Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to another pick a card reading. So this one is going to be for your December of 2020, finishing up this 2020 year, trying to see what is going to be coming in for this right before the start of the new calendar year anyways. So what we're going to be doing is, first off, I found my little dice. I found this little bugger. It was hiding from me with my last reading and I found it. So I'm excited for that. But try to make it as relatively holiday themed as I possibly could without making it too extensive or too crazy. Um, this is kind of a naturey aesthetic that I personally absolutely love. But we're doing four piles today, and then we're going to be starting with pile number one with a little snowman with a blue scarf, pile number two with a snowman with a little orange scarf, pile number three, snowman with a little green one, and then pile number four has a little, actually, pull this up, has a little uh, polka dotted scarf with black, orange, purple, and green. Can't really see the green very well though. But we're definitely gonna be doing four piles and seeing what we can come up with. This is just generalized December reading. So this could be anything popping up for your love life or career or anything like that. We're gonna be seeing what's gonna be coming in. So if you've never done a pick a card reading, they're super simple. They're very easy to do. I personally absolutely love them. So what you're going to do is you're going to pause the video or you can stare at it, whatever it is. Sometimes it's easier to pause it just because I'm flapping my jaw. So of course it makes it a little harder to concentrate, but you're going to look at each individual pile and see which one you are drawn to the most, either the color on the little snowman scarves, the number of the pile, or just whichever pile is screaming at you the most. So then what we're going to do is you can go ahead and drop down to the description box and pick on whichever timestamp it is that is your pile. And then we're going to be seeing what's popping in for your December. So then as always, we're going to get started right now. Hey, pile number one. If you, this is one you picked because you were drawn to the number one, or if you just like the little snowman with the blue scarf, then this is going to be your December 2020 reading. I'm very stoked to see what you'll have in store. So as always, starting with our tarot cards, we've got five today. I'm just gonna set that there. So we have five. So the first one we have is the Oak King. This is a, a deck that I've never actually used in a professional reading before, so this is actually pretty fun. This is the, oh, what is this reading, or what is this deck called? Uh, the Green Witch Tarot, so I absolutely love this one, so it's a little bit more nature-y. Next one is the Standing Stone. I'm gonna do this, there we go. We have the Seven of Wands, oops. We have the Eight of Chalices, also the Eight of Cups. Scoot that over just a little bit, maybe, if I can do that. Okay, and then we have the Two of Pentacles. Nice lineup. All right, so this December is going to be, damn, pile number one, okay. So the Oak King is also the Hanged Man in a standard tarot deck, and the Standing Stone is the um, Justice card. So, y'all are moving on like you are done obviously most people are done with 2020 in general but i feel like y'all are specifically just done you are moving on you are taking new advances like this is literally moving on uh emotionally the seven of wands i take as when people are just uh, taking a new path, you're redirecting yourself and you're just moving on into a new situation see we um we have this lady here, she's pretty much just cleaning her space and everything like that. So she's cleaning up, doing things, she's reorganizing, whatever have you. She's trying to make things a brand new start in a way without being too extensive. So this is definitely something that is great. Hopefully you can't hear my dog being dramatic in the background. But, so this is something that's really great. Y'all are just moving on. Then of course the Two of Pentacles is all about, just pop all the cards. Two of Pentacles is about finding the balance. It's usually a career advance or something like that, or kind of balancing home life and career life. But y'all are moving on into a brand new kind of perspective. It could be a situation where you're starting off with a brand new career, like you're moving on emotionally. You could have a career that was just draining you, whatever it was, but you're just moving on to something different, something new, just kind of getting a fresh start. Just depends on whatever it is that y'all are moving towards specifically. That could be something um, 
you know, more specifically, like I said, you're moving on towards a new career. Some of you are moving on with a new relationship or something like that, trying to figure out how to balance that um, home life and career life. But I feel like for most of you, you're moving on just emotionally. You're finding the balance for yourself. You're finding out whatever it is that's going to be helping you specifically move to your potential, move through your life, move on from things that no longer serve you. Uh, I feel like for some of you, you're probably, you know, stepping into a little bit different of a headspace of, oh, and the sun, okay, the sun's going to come out, but we're going to have a little bit more of a, like, you know, you're, you're definitely redistributing yourself, you're, you're giving yourself a new perspective, you're building on something completely different from what you've never done before, so I feel like for some of you, this is a new career, you're just drawing you're, you're, you're back to the drawing board, but in a good way. You're like, okay, this did not work for me. I'm tired of all the crap. I'm going to do something completely different. I'm going to do whatever it is that I want to do because I want to do it when I want to do it, basically. So I feel like for some of you, this is brand new career, moving on, you know, purging out the old and bringing in the new type of situation. And the next one that we have, the bear. So the bear card is intense. So this is pretty intense, you know, nice, uh, good balance of some earth energy going on. But with the bear, it's, it, this reminds me of the strength card, especially because I have several tarot decks that the strength card is actually with a bear instead of a lion. So that's very, very strong energy. Just talking about standing firm in yourself, knowing your self worth, but also hibernating is over. If you were feeling like whatever it is that you were doing before, you were like, oh yeah, no, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. Now is the time to act. Whether it is you're wanting a new career or a new something, a new situation, wanting to move emotionally, physically, whatever it is, now is the time to do it. December is not a time to back down. The end of the year for 2020 is such a massive just turning point for so many people. And I feel like for you specifically, especially with that bear coming up, this is just a whole new change for you. This is something to just take charge of your life, your situation, like I was saying, just finding that balance. And even if this isn't like home life and career life or something, this could be finding the balance, that mentality within yourself of how to figure out how to love yourself more, how to find that balance within yourself, and then also balancing the outside world as well. Now is not the time to back down. You got the bear. The bear is on your side. And now is not the time to fit, sit there and be like, eh, I'll do it later. No. The bear wants you to do it now. Okay. So, oops. What did I do? Oh, that's what I did. <laughs> so, next two cards here, we have a fiery climax approaches with the full moon in Aries. So, some of you could be in actual Aries, but this is a lot of just, like, insane energy. Like I was saying, the bear is not letting you back down. So, this is a moment where you were like, I need to do things. I need to get up. I need to move. I need to just take charge of whatever it is that I want to do because I want to do it. And now is the time to do that. December, you are moving on. Like I said, you're, you're taking a new pathway. You're moving on emotionally. You're done. You're finding that balance and everything, giving yourself a new perspective. You are moving on group number one. And that is fantastic. I really do love that. Your next card is have faith in your dreams with the waxing crescent moon. So having faith in a little bit of glitter on there. So having faith within your dream is, or dreams in general, is just very much what your guides usually try to get in touch with you with. Most of the time your guides are going to try and talk to you through dreams because that's the state that we're most relaxed in. It's where we're able to actually, um, you know, kind of listen a little better usually. So it's a situation too where you need to hear when your guides and you know, ancestors, uh, the universe, spirit, God, whoever it is that you walk your path with, they're going to probably talk to you through your dreams because it's kind of the easiest way to get in touch with people um, for the most part. So definitely paying attention to your dreams, but also recognizing that the dreams that you're wanting, your aspirations, you know, dreams is in your dream career, your dream home life, your dream family, your dream love life, whatever it is, you know, Having faith in that and going towards that. Like I was saying, standing firm in what you want, but not backing down. December is coming with its own challenges, but these are challenges that you're going to stand up and be like, you know what? I'm not going to back down from this. Something's going to pop up and you'll be like, 
great. Well, you know what? I'm going to tear down this wall because I'm ready for it. I'm not going to let it take take me over. I'm not going to let it rule my life. December is the point where you guys are going to be like stepping into your own power, stepping into yourself and being like, here we go. I'm going to do this. I'm ready. I'm probably scared as hell, but I'm going to do it. Y'all are really ready for this. Even if you don't feel like it, December is going to come in and you're suddenly going to be, you're just suddenly going to be like, oh, well, here we go. Okay. Next one we have here is the Dragon's Lair. I really love this card. This card is so freaking cool. We've got this ice castle with the dragon in the background and everything. So this is about kind of a little bit of a dream state as well. It's kind of hoarding something a little bit. You know, with the Dragon's Lair, typically, you know, they hoard all of the, the treasure, everything like that. They're kind of hermits a little bit. But this is like, you know, standing strong, protecting what is yours, protecting what you want, basically, as well. So like I was saying, this is very much like protecting energy. This is like, I know what I want, and I'm going to get it, basically. Next one we have here is Spirit of Place. So this is getting in touch with nature a little bit as well. This is also understanding that when spirit is talking to you, it's trying to come in different ways. You know, here, you know, her... I here looks like a little bit of a butterfly's wing and you know there's so many different things that you can look at and see I feel this is like a little sprite type of situation a little nymph spirit so there's so many different things there's a lot of things coming into your life that is going to be seeming like a blessing in disguise basically so listening again listening to your dreams and recognizing that when spirit is trying to get your attention and talk to you it's because it's trying to show you something it could be you know asking for help or advice or something like that and then spirit's going to give it to you in one of the most blunt ways possible but it's going to be coming in in a way that you might not expect and then the last one here is dry desert so the dry desert is kind of being a little bit more resourceful so this is looking for moments that um like again you, you know, things that you might not expect so it's kind of like learning to be resourceful learning to step into yourself knowing that when you are uh, looking for different answers, trying to get answers, whatever it is, you know, maybe through dreams, through meditation, um, through prayer, whatever it is that you do, then definitely understanding that when you have uh, these things coming up and trying to be resourceful, kind of going in within yourself a little bit and understanding that when you're on the right path, everything is just, it just makes sense. You know, it's kind of that clear cognizance moment where you just suddenly know that whatever it is you're doing, it just makes sense. It does. You don't know how it makes sense, but it does. And you're just going to keep going with the flow. You're kind of going to hit this mentality moment in December of like, okay, well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Okay. I don't know why, but here we go. All right. So the next one here we have is emotional challenges. Resolve the issue. So like I was saying, December is the time to not back down. Whatever it is that you feel like you've been kind of putting off, now is not the time to back down. Now is the time to activate that bear energy and to just full on knock it out of the park, basically, just to take it on and just go for it. Now is not the time to um, let it eat away at you, essentially. And then the next one is third eye vision. Reclaim your mind. So this is, other than the fact that it reminds me a little bit of a, you know, Van Gogh painting, this is very much like I was saying, paying attention to your dreams and recognizing that you have the power to manifest your desires, your dreams, your wants, and your aspirations. Everything it is that you're wanting to do, you do have the power to control it and manifest it. You just have to reclaim that power. Sometimes it's a little bit more easier said than done because, of course, we get, you know, kind of... Um, how do I phrase this? We get stuck in our own minds, basically. You know, we get uh, kind of in our own heads, not paying attention to too much of anything. And we're kind of like, I need to do this and this and this. I need to do, you know, all of these things all at the same time. You feel like you're super stressed, whatever it is. You feel like you don't have the time to do what it is you want to do it. But then finding time for yourself, like I was saying with that two of pentacles, finding that balance between yourself and the outside world is definitely going to help with that. But then of course, you know, with bear and then you know, all of this stuff coming in with the dragon as well, 
you have so much fiery energy within you. You have so much stabi stability within you, stabilizing energy within you, that you're able to just go for it and drive on head first, basically, into whatever it is you're wanting to do. The next one we have is the little wolf girl. It is all right to be alone. So this one also kind of bops back in with the dry desert, like I was saying, standing firm within yourself, kind of, um, you know, drawing within. Don't completely push out the external world. Don't completely ignore other people, whatever it is. But then, of course, this is coming to you to let you know that, you know, if you feel like you're alone, sometimes that's when we do our best thinking. I know that I do. There's a lot of times I do a lot of my best thinking and my best work when I'm completely solo. Even though it's a little frustrating sometimes to feel like you are alone, a lot of the times it's because we just need to be in our own heads in order to get things figured out. So being alone is not necessarily a bad thing. You know, that lone wolf kind of energy, that standing strong, also, you know, wolf energy a little bit too with the bear, you know, understanding that the energy and the strength within you, the only person who can pull it out is yourself. The only person who can actually pull your strength out is yourself. You just have to do that. And then your last card is the Miss Spiderweb or Miss Spiderweb. Reconsider your alliances and make new connections. So I feel like this is also something too with the Eight of Chalices hiding under there a little bit. So I feel like this is also something that you're trying to do is figure out who you want in your life. You know, are you wanting to have a smaller friend group? Have you grown out of some friendships and some relationships, which definitely does happen. People grow and change. So of course, our relationships and our perspectives do change as well. So finding out who it is that you're wanting to keep close to you, you know, and even with, you know, talking about spiders in general, they definitely, you know, they're in their own little world. They're in their own little corner. They're living their life. They're kind of having that, you know, uh, loner energy a little bit. They're not letting other people uh, mess with them basically you know they kind of recluse back a bit and they kind of step within themselves so I feel like for December it's going to be a lot of energy of understanding that it's okay to be alone but at the same point in time you're not actually alone alone your guides are going to be talking through you potentially through your dreams and then of course they're wanting you to step into your power you know um the need to talk about Moldavite just now popped into my head. So the, the crystal Moldavite actually is super intense. It is amazing for shadow work, but also for kicking you in the butt when you need to move, basically. You know, if you're kind of wanting to start up your own business or if you're wanting to um, uh, go to school, if, whatever it is that you're wanting to do, if you have a chunk of Moldavite, if you carry it with you, make a necklace out of it, whatever it is, it's not going to let you back down. It's that 100% manifestation energy, pure and 100% not letting you back down. If you're like, make a certain manifestation, you know, I want this in my life, Moldavite is going to be like, boom, here you go. This is what it is. Probably, you know, going to be coming in, not necessarily the way that you expected, like I was saying, but it's going to be coming in a way that's pretty intense to the point where you are not going to have the option to back down. Your uh, your guides, your ancestors, your spirits, whoever it is, they're going to come in and they're going to be like, hey, guess what? You said you wanted this. Well, here's how you need it in this current state of your life, this current state of existence. This is how you need it to be. So this is how we're going to give it to you, whatever that is. If you're saying that you want a new career life and a new career, whatever it is, and they're going to give you this brand new big career, it might not be quite what you had in mind, but it's going to be something that you absolutely need in that moment, in that point in time. Okay, so I'm going to be doing some letters, and since I found my lucky dice suddenly, I'm um, going to be doing that, and then going to be drawing the other dice as well. So we're going to be getting some letters first. Let's see what we have for your December. Got these ones? Okay. Okay, kind of an interesting lineup here. So we have two T's, we have C, H, H. Again, this could be an actual 
find that interesting that this is sitting on a three and then there's six here. Actually, a lot of threes here, like somewhere we have a three here. This is you know, 19, nine is a method of three. There's a three over here, 36. So there's a lot of threes happening with that. So a three, as far as numerology goes, is talking about things that it is that you want to do. And it's kind of like growing, everything's starting, but it's not quite done yet. And then, of course, you know, with the letters themselves, that could be someone's initials or whatever it is. Um, I want to, I really want to draw one more. I know I'm talking about the, the power of three, but I really want to do just one more letter. Okay, I can't get more than, okay, oops. Okay, well, there's an R now, and there's one on my foot, literally landed on my foot. And it rolled twice and landed on an R. So let's see if I can, oops, grab this without knocking my entire system down. So it rolled twice and landed on an R. So I'm obviously going to leave it there. But it's still balanced. And now we've landed on an 8, which of course kind of draws back into the uh, 8 of Cups card a little bit as well. So definitely moving on. So that doesn't spell an actual word, <laughs> but it could also necessarily doesn't necessarily have to be a precise word and like I said it could be um, an acronym of some sort or your initials however that rolls and goes for you I don't really want it to be on the words I want it to be there like that kind of okay so like I said I'm gonna be doing the dice as well so we're gonna be starting with the um, white ones white ones signify anything that's going to be a pivotal change or something within um, your life in this case coming in for December this is gonna be something that's kind of gonna be like you know if it's job related or something like that this could be the day that you get your job or the day you start your new job here back get an interview whatever it is or if it's not job related and it's something a little bit more home life then it could be the day that you meet you know your person or something like that but it's definitely gonna be something that's going to be um, kind of exciting you know, it could be like a big moment where you're like, whoa, but it's also something too. So this is going to be just the energy starting because I know that some people too, when they've gotten the dice and they're like, but you know, that day, nothing spectacular happened, but the energy itself could have changed in one way or another. <clears throat> the energy itself could have been changed in some way. So it doesn't necessarily have to be, um, you know, on that specific day, it's just energy itself is what this is drawing into and what this is rolling into so it's going to be something specific i've also had it too where i've rolled something for you know doing a, a reading for august and i've rolled something for D, uh like march the following year so it's just the energy itself and how it's going to change or it could land on an actual day specifically whoops okay so we have a five and a three there's one more on the ground that i have to go get Try not to knock my system again. <laughs> Oof. Alrighty. And this one landed on a two. Interesting. Oops. So. Very interesting because that does obviously add up to ten. So it could be something specifically with December 10th. Of course, that could be, you know... The coming up, you know, December is going to be just when you start changing things, when you step into your own power, when you start doing something, whatever it is. And then, of course, you know, the following few months are going to be where everything pivotally changes. But for this, I feel like it's just going to be something like that first couple of weeks of December. You know, with that 10, that 10 being there, I feel like it's very much something pretty... Just the first couple of weeks, I feel like it's just going to be pretty intense. Not bad intense, but just intense to the point where you're just going to be seeing, you know, maybe like a lot of synchronicities or something like that. There's just going to be so much going on that it's going to be just a wow moment, essentially. And then I'm going to be doing the black dice. Now, the black dice are also pivotal changes, but it's going to be something that's going to just knock you on your ass, basically. I call these tower dice, but it's also a situation too where it's something that has to change, whatever it is. Something is needing to change. It's not, you know, 
it's probably not going to be your favorite time but it's also something too where you know like when the tower pops up in a reading it's because something has to change there is something that is not working anymore and it has to change same thing with the death card so this is going to be something the energy is needing to shift for whatever reason and it could be when that you know that fiery climax is approaching with that card over here is that you know that full moon energy coming in something is changing something is happening so i'm definitely curious but we're going to be seeing what it's got for the pivotal moments for a big old moment for something that's going to be happening for your december of 2020. okay so of course and now we have an 11. so like i'm saying it that those couple of weeks Something's going to be interesting. Those, those, um, you know, we have 10 and 11, like, <laughs> so I feel like there's definitely going to be something pretty much like those, those first two weeks, like, you know, around middle ish of the month or something like that. I feel like it's going to be pretty much go time for you. It's just something I keep hearing. It's go time. Basically <laughs> now is not the time to back down. You know, you're coming out of hibernation. You're going to get woken up. Whether it's a spiritual awakening or whatever it is, now is not the time to sit here and just kind of goof around. You're having to go, basically. And then, of course, I cannot ignore my red dice. These kind of look a little orange on camera, but they are red. But we're going to be doing uh, some love reading kind of-ish and seeing what's going to be coming in. For your love life, there's going to be anything significant. This does not necessarily have to mean a partner because I've had some people actually panic when I've rolled these. They're like, oh, I don't want to know anything about a partner, you know, happily single, whatever it is. That's amazing. This is just love in general. If this could be a moment where you do end up meeting your partner or it could be a situation too where the day that you start to decide to love yourself more, however that rolls, however that fits for your life specifically. Um... You know, and this could also tie into, you know, you end up with your dream career type of situation. So it just could be something that is going to happen for, you know, however you have love in your life, essentially, whenever the energy changes for your love and how you perceive love. I'm very curious what number this rolls. Oops. I have a six. And a six. Oh, I was very interesting. I was really hoping that that did roll a 12, to be perfectly honest. I was very hoping that this would roll a 12. Like, the whole time I'm thinking, I'm like, this is going to hit a 12. I know it will because we have 10, 11, 12. I love that. I love that. There is so much that is happening for you. And just in, like I said, those two weeks, whatever it is, it's going to be a big kind of boom moment for you not quite necessarily a tower moment like nothing's going to just crumble and fall apart although it might feel like things are just being disrupted to the point where it kind of does feel like it's falling apart but i feel like there's just going to be this big boom moment towards the middle of the month where you're going to be like whoa okay here we go i apparently don't have the option anymore to you know step back now is the time to step into whatever it is you're needing to do and then, of course, now that I've found this little bugger, we're going to be rolling the lucky dice and see what kind of lucky number specifically is popping up for your December. I'm going to giggle at this rolls on a three. <laughs> I heard don't let go. And I don't think that is pertaining to me. Like, don't let go, don't back down, especially with that bear energy. Bears are chill, bears are cool, they just kind of putter around, do their own thing, but then when they are pissed or determined, there's no backing down. Like, it, it's, it takes them, it takes a lot of distracting. They have to have a massive squirrel moment, basically, in order to be distracted from whatever it is that they want to do. Okay, so we got a six, so we want to think about that. Still technically a, um, uh factor of three but also it's a situation too where it's that six moment basically so things are starting to balance in in terms of uh you know that give and that take that balancing energy you know with the scales you know hiding underneath here you know finding the that scale moment finding that balancing moment and everything like that as well so there's definitely going to be a lot of balancing for you in december uh group number one there's definitely going to be a lot of uh moments of finding yourself 
definitely digging into yourself and understanding that whatever it is you're needing to do and achieve, you have the power to do that. You just have to step into your own self and recognize that, you know, when you're dreaming about doing something, daydreaming about your perfect career or whatever it is, just do it. Just jump. Whatever steps it is you need to take, now is the time to do that. I love this. This is very exciting. This December is going to be very intense, but in a good way. It's going to be a good intense. Trust me. Good intense, a lot going on, but definitely something that's just going to be a lot of of goodness going on, basically. So I'm stoked about your December. If this reading resonates, I really hope it does. That is fantastic. I absolutely love that. And then definitely, of course, let me know in the comments um, if you do have any plans for December. You know, are you and are you planning on, you know, are you trying to do something brand new with your career? Are you starting over with something? Whatever it is, you know, do you have big plans for this December? What is going on for your December? I'm very curious to know if y'all have, you know, plans to make this big boom happen, basically. But I think, you know, 10, 11, 12, there's definitely a lot going to be going on, like towards the middle of the month-ish. So it's very exciting. Definitely uh, like the video if you resonate with it, and also if it helps you out a little bit as well. That's great. That's amazing. Um, I really, really do appreciate when y'all subscribe. It definitely helps me know and like the videos and stuff like that. It really does help me know that when you are, uh, you know, helped by what I'm doing, and then, of course, when it resonates, and also what kind of videos that you do prefer me to do as well. It definitely helps as well. So let me know if y'all have anything going on for December. I'm very curious. Want to know? Going to be a little nosy. No lie. But until next time, group number one, this is what I have for your December of 2020. And until next time, know yourself and know your power. Bye. So hey, group number two, if this is the one that you picked because of group number two, or if you just wanted the little snowman that has the orange scarf, this is going to be your December 2020 reading. So of course, I do have the... Um, dice and letters as well, so we're going to be drawing those. I found my lucky dice, so we're going to be rolling that little guy as well. And then we have quite a few cards, but it's not going to be too intense, I hope. But we're going to be starting with tarot, and we have five this time. So the first one we have here is the Earth Mother. So this is the Green Witch Tarot, so this is um, phrased a little bit differently. It's kind of laid out a little bit differently than the standard tarot, but this one is the Empress, usually. So we have the Earth Mother. We have the Crone, which is usually the Strength card. This one's pretty much one of the easiest ones to figure out because of the Lion. We have the Moon card. The Wild Hunt. Obviously, this one's the Tower. And then we have the Three of Chalices, Three of Cups. I love this. I actually, I'm weird. I get excited when, a ta when, the, when the Tower card pops up in readings because it's like, now is not the time to back down. Now is the time to just stand up for what you want. Things are going to be happening, whatever it is. So this, I feel like, is very much like... I feel like for some of you, actually, you're intentionally setting off the tower. Like, you know, we have, we, we have the Empress, and we have the Strength, and we have the Moon. This is like your dreams, your intuition, things like that. It could be that things are being hidden from you. But then I feel like with the Wild Hunt, with the Tower card, things are just being like, demolish. And then we have the Three of Cups, which is the, the happiness card. Um, you know, celebrating, uh, spending time with friends, whether you go out, whatever that is, just being celebratory in general. I feel like for a lot of you, you're intentionally setting off the Tower moment. You're setting off that Tower card. You're like, I'm done. I ain't doing this shit no more. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm doing this and this and this, this and this, and I'm going to do it. I feel like for some of you, you're like stepping into that strength card, stepping into that, uh, that empress energy and just being like, I'm going to do it. I want to do it. Therefore I'm going to. So I feel like for some of you, like I said, you're, you're intentionally sitting. I feel like for some of you, you're ending a relationship. Like December is going to be that moment where you're just like ending a relationship you know, maybe there were some things that were being hidden from you that you weren't too impressed with, whatever it was, and you're just hitting the button, hitting reset, whatever it is, and then you're just going to be going out and celebrating. Obviously, we're still in a bit of pandemic, so you might not be able to actually celebrate 
quite literally at a bar or something like that, but you might be able to just, you know, go out for a celebratory dinner with a couple of your best friends or something like that. So I feel like for some of you, you're intentionally setting off the tower. You are intentionally disrupting things in order to start over because you're done with the bullshit, whatever it is. So I feel like you're intentionally setting it off. You're stepping into yourself. You're creating a new life for yourself. You're building up your strength. And then you're just, here we go. I'm done. And then we have the camel. Now, the camel is talking about an energy between fire and water. Um, it's also strength. The camel handles so much BS on such a daily basis. You know, they are uh, trudging through the desert for ever practically and you know they have a, a method of keeping themselves sustained of course because that's just how they're built so I feel like for a lot of you you have found that moment I have one of those little things over here it's been weird but <laughs> so I feel like for a lot of you you're in that camel moment that in that strength card moment where you are just building up so much strength within yourself and finding that balance between, you know, finding your fire compared to your water energy, whatever it is. Um, for some of you, you might be an actual fire sign. You know, that is, you know, um, the fire sign at the top of the card there. I feel like for some of you, you might be fire signs or something like that. Or the tower moment that you had, you might have been dealing with a fire sign that you decided to end it with, whatever it was. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're just finding your inner strength. And you're just like, here we go. I'm... You're, you're not backing down. Like, you're, you're not scared at all. You have no if, ands, or buts running through your mind. You were just done, and you're willing to just jump forward. Okay. Hopefully you cannot hear my heater kick on and off. It's been snowing today, so <laughs> hopefully it's not too bad. But your next card is you and your loved ones are safe with the new moon and cancer. So I really feel like this specifically is something where you were just wanting to um, kind of dive in, keep moving that little guy, where you're wanting to just pretty much dive in to whatever it is you're wanting to do, you know, and understanding that you are being protective of your loved ones, you know, like I say, you know, kind of finding your inner strength, protecting your loved ones, protecting your space, protecting yourself, your home, whatever it is, and you're not allowing someone else to disrupt that. I feel like this is, for some of you, very relationship-based, um, you know, ending a toxic relationship, whatever it is, whether you were in an actual romantic relationship with this person or whether it was just a family member that you were just sick of the BS, whatever it was. But I feel like for a lot of you, this is very relationship based. So you're protecting your home, you're protecting your space, protecting your family and your loved ones and not letting this negative energy kind of just, you know, penetrate your uh, safety bubble, basically. Oh, look at that. Talking about negativity. It's time to release negativity with the full moon of Scorpio. So I feel like for a lot of you, this is just releasing the BS 100%. You're done with it. You're sick and tired of all the crap. You're tired of, you know, things being hidden from you. You're listening to your intuition. You are paying attention to whatever it is that you're being spoken to through in dreams, through meditation, your guides, your deities you know, spirits, ancestors, whoever it is that you walk your path with, then I feel like for a lot of you, you're starting to listen. A lot of things are coming through pretty clearly. So then you're able to actually just one after the other, make your choices and be like, I'm done with this. Like y'all are, Ooh, I feel like for some of you, you're like I said, fire energy. I feel like a lot of you are like fire signs at the very least in your rising. So then you're just like, I'm done listening to the BS and I'm going to be doing it the way that I want to do it because I'm sick and tired of being told I can't for whatever reason. So you're just like December is just going to be like jumping in head first. You're diving in. You're like, here we go. I'm ready. I'm tired of being meek and mild and I'm tired of sitting on my ass. I'm tired of sitting there being like, oh, this is okay. And that's okay. I feel like for a lot of you, you're enveloping that fire type of energy like I said, stepping into that strength and being like, here we go. I'm not through yet. I'm not through yet is something that just like is on repeat, like a broken record in my head. I'm not done. I'm not done yet. Your next few cards. 
we have the wishing well. So the wishing well is talking about, you know, even here we have the mask and everything like that. This is talking about making your wishes, making your thoughts, your manifestations, your desires and your dreams come true. This is like a manifestation card. This is understanding that when you make a wish, when you put a manifestation out there in the world, that you are doing what it is you want to do. Like I said, you are moving on. You are making your choices and you're doing exactly what it is that you want to do when you want to do it because you want to do it, which is also a very fire sign energy. <laughs> All right. The next one is cleaning house. Like I said, you're cleaning up. You're changing perspectives. You are doing things the way you want to do it. You are creating and potentially recreating something brand new, starting over with that tower moment. You are freshening things up might actually be purging some BS in your house, whatever it is, but you're just cleaning up and you're changing up your space, changing up how you look at things, how you see things, how you are perceived as well. You might be stepping into this fire sign energy, stepping into this strength energy, and because you're tired of being seen as a doormat, you're tired of someone walking all over you, you're tired of people telling you what to do because they want you to do something and you don't want to. So you're stepping into this strength and, um, whoops, and uh, re-envisioning and reimagining yourself as well. Oof. Okay. We have the Golden Palace. So this card is quite literally what it is. It's kind of hiding away a little bit. It's kind of like rebuilding yourself, but it's also like f building your home not quite literally out of gold, of course, but it's like building your home and creating your safe space out of something that is high value. So redirecting your energy, you know, cleaning up your energy, cleaning up the energy out of your home, um, changing up your space, whatever it is. I know that I know personally for me, when I get rid of a lot of junk that I don't want, that I don't need, whatever it is, and things just feel so much better, things feel so much cleaner and clearer, and it's just easier to breathe, whatever it is. I need that random pop of change here and there, so to speak. So I feel like for some of you, you might wanna try a little bit of that and see how that helps because it's definitely gonna be kicking up the energy and um, redirecting the energy as well. That way you're able to actually do what it is you wanna do. Keep hearing like just, just clean. <laughs> clean, clean, clean. You're not done yet. You are, I feel like for some of you, it might be a moment too, where your guides are like, you're not done yet. We're not through. You still have work to do. We got to get on you. We got to do this. We got to do that. Even though I'm going to let you have a break right now, I'm going to let you have a bit of a rest moment. Here we go. We're going to start round two, whatever it is. I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be pretty much in that energy of like, I'm not done yet. And also your guides are going to let you know you're not done yet. And we have shield your energy, look beneath the surface, very much like you know, redirecting your energy. Some of you might want to um, quite literally clear your energy and, you know, like maybe uh, smudge your space or smoke cleanse your space, however you want to look at that. Um, there is a difference, I know. I'm Native American, so don't get on me about that, all right? But I know there is a difference. So, of course, you know, just like cleansing your space, however it is you want to do that, whether it's... Um, just reviving it, so to speak, with your favorite music and your favorite, um, like, scents, like, you know, light a few candles that are your favorite scent, whatever it is. Um, I know personally for me, um, it really changes up the energy of my space um, when I added uh, wind chimes to my space. So I have some wind chimes, even though, of course, they don't go off 24-7. But like, you know, it's, it's definitely something that changes up the space. So definitely redirecting your energy and kind of just reviving it, revamping it, whatever it is you want to look at that. That way you're able to really see, um, you'll, you'll just notice the difference. I feel like you're just needing to kind of just like clean your space, whether it's quite literally or just energetically, just needing to clean it and revive it. That way you can get everything out that you no longer want and remove the negative energy. And then the next one is sacred divinity. There are two paths ahead. So I feel like for this, this is a choice of not 
quite, you know, you versus me type of situation, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be a situation where it's, you're going to be having to make some decisions, not hard ones, but you're just going to have to make decisions, um, you know, and of course, you know, if it's literally cleaning up and purging out things that you don't want anymore, it could be a situation of literally getting rid of things, you know, making the choice, do I want to keep this or do I want to get rid of it type of situation. But of course, with with sacred divinity, like I said, that's listening to your ancestors, listening to your spirits, you know, whoever it is you walk with is going to be, they're going to be letting you know when things need to be cleaned out, when things need to be cleared, when things need to be changed in whatever ways. So I feel like for a lot of you, that is going to be that moment. That is going to be standing strong, big things are coming, but you're understanding that it's because you are also, like I said, you're intentionally setting off that tower moment. Oh, I love this card. It's so freaking cute. So we have Little Owlin, Wisdom as Light as a Feather. So I feel like for this, like I said, you know, it's like th this whole freaking card is adorable. It's like sitting on a little pumpkin patch with the owl. She's got little feathers in her hair. I love this card. But it is also, this reminds me of fire energy. It could just be the fact that it's orange with orange eyes. But this is also just reminds me of fire and air energy a little bit. So like I was saying, you know, taking flights on a new path, whatever it is, understanding that you are wanting to make changes. So this is being wise within yourself as well. So understanding your own wisdom, understanding your own uh, pathways and things like that, stepping into yourself and everything as well. So it's pretty much like, I know what I want, I know what I need to do, and I'm going to do it. Next one, we have Brother Raccoon a safe space, a safe place for you to go. So I feel like for this, this is like understanding that, you know, with those, you know, that the celebratory moment and stuff like that, I feel like it's a situation too, for some of you, it's understanding that you do have places to go. There are people in your life that you were able to go to when you feel like you need a safe space and they're going to help you get things figured out when you feel like you personally can't, whatever it is. They're understanding that, you've been through the ringer, they understand that you've been through it, that they're gonna help you get it figured out. They're gonna help you, even if that's spiritually. Getting in touch with your guides and your ancestors and things like that and, and people and uh, you know bringing them into your life, like I said, whether that's through prayer or whatever it is, however it is you decide to do that and, and getting in touch with someone if you work with deities, then obviously getting in touch with them and seeing if you can get just like that spiritual help just to keep your strength up. Because of course, physically, we can feel like we're ready to go, we can run a marathon, whatever it is, however you uh, feel physically sometimes. But then a lot of the times too, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, whatever, we're just done. We're exhausted. We have no more energy and strength within us. So I feel like for while December is definitely going to be a pivotal moment for you just in general, just like moving on and changing things up, clearing out your space. But it's also a situation too, where it's going to be a little bit taxing. You're going to be a little exhausted to the point where you're going to have to kind of draw in on yourself, go to a safe space, go to that place within yourself of just self-reliance and self-recovery as well. Uh, so practicing a little bit more self-care this month is definitely going to be uh, huge. That way you don't completely and totally lose your mind. Like I said, protecting your energy. That also involves self-care. That, you know, if you need to uh, take a bubble bath, that way you can kind of readjust yourself, whatever it is you need to do. Definitely doing that so you can help protect your energy and keep your defenses up spiritually. And that way you don't just continuously exhaust yourself all of the time. Whether you want to carry some uh, specific crystals around with you, whatever it is, I always recommend uh, carrying amethyst with you or black tourmaline or tourmalated quartz, which is literally pieces of black tourmaline in clear quartz. Those are my three favorites for protecting your energy and keeping away or, or like keeping things uplifted and positive as well. Um, like black tourmaline actually can work in certain ways of like keeping up your positivity because it absorbs the negativity. So then it's like helping to keep your vibe right and everything like that as well. So then of course we're going to be doing the 
dice. Since I found my lucky dice, we're gonna be rolling that little dude, but then of course we're gonna be starting, whoops, with some letters first and see what we can grab for you. For your December group number two and see what's going on. Oops, not drop the whole bag. All of these? Okay, that's gonna be a, quite a lot. Okay, so we have quite an interesting lineup here. W and M, you have an R, you have a U, you have an E. I know these are not in order. <laughs> we have a Y. I do see my, of course, M Y, and I see new, which is very interesting. So, like I was saying, I feel like this is going to be like a new beginning for a lot of you. New, even though there is no second E, but I feel like new me type of situation. New you. We're going to do it. Scrabble style, new me. I feel like there is going to be a lot of new me happening. Ha you know, there's going to be a lot of newness going on for your December. There's going to be a lot of things that you're going to be starting. Like I said, you're you're kind of hitting the tower moment. You're starting over. You're wanting things to get better, so you're wanting to start things off in a way that you want to be able to control as well. So then we're going to be doing the white dice first. We're going to be rolling these and seeing what day-ish or around what time of the month is going to be pretty pivotal. Um, but this is, of course, the energy specifically. This doesn't necessarily have to be the day that something starts or the day that something actually happens. But it could be a situation, too, where the energy on this specific day decides to just pivot or change. That way you're actually able to get things done that you want to do. Okay, so we got two threes, and then we have a two. Interesting. So, there's got to be, yeah. I feel like there is something around, like, the eighth. So, like, that second week of the month for you is going to be pretty, like, pretty much, like, you know, the first few days you're going to be like, oh, okay, things are kind of slow, whatever it is. But then after that, it's like, here we go. I'm ready, I'm doing things, yada yada. Then the black dice, I usually call these tower dice, not always because that does tend to freak people out, but you already got a tower, so let's see what we can grab for you. But the, the, the black ones are going to be pivotal moments that are going to just shake things up, whatever it is. I really have the sneaky suspicion how these are going to roll, but I'm not going to say anything quite yet. Yes, I will. That is an eight. I have the feeling this might be a nine, but we'll see. But so we're definitely going to see what we can get for that and seeing what moments are going to be coming up for you in December specifically for when things are going to start being shaken up basically. So like the white dice are things that you really want to happen. The black dice probably not going to be your favorite time, of, but it's also going to be something that needs to happen because the energy needs to shift. Okay. Well, we didn't get a nine, which is good. <laughs> well, we did get a nine, but not total. Got an eleven. Very interesting. So I feel like with the eleven, you know, it's, it's something about just those two weeks. Something about those two weeks really is going to be just insane. Okay, so. Something that did literally just get screamed at me. Um, if this is not you ending a toxic relationship, if this is not you ending a relationship with another human, another person, whatever it is, I don't think that's going to be it for most of you. But I also feel like this is ending a toxic cycle potentially within yourself. So I feel like that's why it's a lot of going within, hearing your intuition, cleaning up, getting rid of negativity. I feel like for a lot of you, it's getting rid of the negative space within yourself. So getting rid of that toxicity within yourself, whatever it is, self-sabotaging habits, whatever it is, I feel like a lot of you are actually going to be doing that. So I feel like that's why not necessarily starting a relationship, 
but I feel like for some of you, it's just so much fire energy, so much, you know, learning and so much finding wisdom within yourself. That way you're able to get rid of the toxicity that's within yourself. Usually, like I said, self-sabotaging and stuff like that, that happens sometimes because it just happens. You know, we, we pick up patterns and traits and things like that along the way that is not good for us. So then we don't always make the best choices, whatever have you. So I feel like specifically for a lot of you, you are ending toxic relationships and toxic cycles, but I feel like for some of you, the toxic cycles are within yourself and getting rid of those moments altogether, kind of redirecting your brain, redirecting your mindset to bring more positivity, cl keeping that space clear, cleaning up your energy and everything like that. That way you're able to find that balance within yourself between that fire and that water and things like that as well. So I feel like for some of you, that's what it's going to be. So then, of course, doing the red dice as well, even though they're like orange on camera, but they are red. Um, so we're going to be doing the red dice. It's going to be love however you perceive love. So this doesn't necessarily have to be an actual relationship. So like I said, this is semi-relationship based, whether it's with another person or with you specifically. So this could be the day that you start to love yourself a little bit more. Or if you do end up in a relationship, this could be the day that you meet the one, whoever you want to look at that. So then of course, we're going to be rolling these and seeing what we can get for your love energy for your December. And there's that six. Interesting. So with this, uh, I left how they actually ended up in order like that. So I feel like there's something because I feel like there's something like is, uh, we have the six, the eight and then the 11. So I feel like that first week is just going to be like kind of you teetering on maybe I should do this. Maybe I shouldn't, whatever it is. And then after that, it's just going to be like, boom, the middle of the month is just going to be so immediate, basically. It's going to be a lot of, like I said, balancing moments. Six is a number of balance. So it's finding balance and duality within yourself as well. So then, of course, rolling the lucky number dice to see what we can get specifically. If there's anything going to be coming in for your luck, love, pivotal moment, however it is you want to look at that. And it still landed on the five. Great. So fives are the numbers that I personally associate, and of course, um, a lot of times too with numerology and things like that. The fives, especially if it's like the repeating 555 number, it's talking about literally you're not done yet. Things are gonna be so intense. Things are gonna be coming into your life that's gonna be one after the other, just boom, 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 boom. But then also it's gonna be like, I am, you're just, you're not done yet. Like that's literally what it is. You're not done yet. Things are gonna be coming in. It's gonna be great you're going to start to notice all of these patterns, you know, whether it is you've been manifesting things, you're going to start to notice synchronicities with that. But then of course, it's like, it's just starting because five is the halfway point between five and 10, of course. So then it's like, you're not at that 10 yet. You're halfway done. Things are still going. You're still rolling. Things are still continuing on and you still need to continue on. Be like that camel and continue on just because it looks a little desolate doesn't mean that it actually is make your wishes make your manifestations trust your energy everything like that also believe in yourself because i feel like for some of you that might be something that you not might not necessarily do is you might not necessarily believe in yourself very much or at all and you need to stepping into your energy and stepping into your own self and your own power is definitely going to be good for you oh my gosh this was a little heavier than I had attended for your December, but I feel like for a lot of you, you're just, you're in the headspace, you're in the energy of just, I'm done with the bull and I'm going to be moving on. And that is amazing. That is great. That's fantastic to be perfectly honest. So then also as well, definitely let me know if this resonates. Like the video, let me know if this resonates down in the comments as well. If this is something that you feel that you're kind of stepping into your energy right now, because of course, um, it's almost December now. So I feel like this is an energy that some of you might be starting to feel a little bit, whatever it is, making some last minute decisions and things. So I feel like for a lot of you, this is the energy that you're starting to step into. 
So let me know if this is something that resonates with you. Also, let me know if you have any plans for December, if this is a pivotal moment for you, if you are intentionally setting off the tower moment, if you had a tower moment, whatever it was. Um, I don't think for, for some of you, I don't think the tower is going to quite hit until like towards the beginning-ish middle towards transitional moment in December. But I feel like for a lot of you, you might be starting to feel that energy already. So definitely let me know. Um, of course, it does help me um, when you comment, like the videos, things like that, when you subscribe as well. That way I know that when you are liking certain types of videos, that these are things that I can definitely keep up with and continue, especially if they are the ones that are absolutely helping you out a lot. It also helps me know. So definitely let me know. I'm really curious to know if you have any plans for December as well. So just drop a comment and let me know if that's something that you're wanting to do. Group number two, you are ready. You're ready. Like you're in the headspace of like, I'm ready. I'm done. I'm doing the thing. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. But you're not done yet. And I feel like a lot of you, you might know that. So group number two, this is what I have for you. And until next time, know yourself and know your power. Bye. Hey, group number three, this is the pile you pick because of number three, or if you just like the little snowman with the little green scarf, then this is going to be your December 2020 reading. So it's going to be anything that's going to be coming up for your December specifically. Going to be drawing numbers and letters as well. And since I found my, finally, my little lucky dice that was missing, then we're going to be rolling that little dude as well. So we're going to be starting with tarot. As usual, we have five to this time. So we have the four of wands. Lovely. We have nature. Now this is the green witch tarot. So usually this is, um, uh, or this one's designed a little bit differently compared to the standard tarot. So I feel like the nature, I think this is like the death card basically, just a little bit uh, nicer compared, less terrifying compared to the actual death card. So then we have ace of wands, six of swords, I had to read that for a second. And then we have the world tree. I really love this. This, of course, is the world specifically. And the standard tarot. Oh my goodness. Group number three. <laughs> so December is bringing a lot. Wow. So, <laughs> so with the four of wands, of course, four of wands is the stability it is home life. It is success. A lot of people say that this ties into twin flames and uh, soulmates, if you believe in those. And then of course, we have the death card, but this one is a little different compared to the standard death card. This is not letting your... Um, okay, we see, you know, we have uh, the bear in the background. We have this bear trap here. We have all of the critters in the background, everything like that. I think these are satyrs, maybe, I think potentially. Um, but it's also like a situation too, where it's like, don't let whatever it is that you're wanting trap you, you know, don't be so like, if you're manifesting a relationship, if whatever it is that you're manifesting, if you're wanting a new career, whatever it is you're wanting to do in December, don't let it be your one and only thoughts. Keep living your life, keep doing your thing, whatever it is. Understand that whatever it is you're wanting, of course, it's great to want and dream and aspire to have all of these great things, but you definitely don't want to be in such a headspace of, I need it right now, I need it right now, because then you're just going to absolutely lose your mind. And then we have the Ace of Wands talking about all of the all of the things you're starting with. You know, we have this little sparrow that's kind of just flying up. We have a uh, fruit of some fruit of some kind growing here. So then it's like, uh, usually the, the wands card, sometimes it's like lit on fire. So it's literally just starting. You are lighting your fire and starting something that you're passionate about. Six of swords, six of a thames is talking about moving on, but also you're leaving something behind to find your world. So I've, oh my gosh, I feel like for a lot of you, this is a relationship. You're moving on. Now, a lot of people too get confused when I read things. I'm like, oh, it's a relationship. They're like, I don't see the lover's card. That doesn't mean squat. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're just, you're moving on. You're starting things. You're moving towards your world. You are moving on. You know, you are moving into a space, into a headspace, physically, emotionally, whatever that is. You're moving towards things that you've been wanting. You've been manifesting. You're not 
it's important to remember to not let it continuously drag you down, whatever it is. You know, some people get distracted or discouraged when they want a specific something. They're manifesting their dream job, their dream partner, whatever it is, and they're not, um, uh, they're not listening, I guess. They're, they're so stuck on, I need this, I need this, I need this. But then when they get it, they don't recognize it because then they just can't actually see it. They're kind of blinded a little bit. So recognizing to not be blinded by your own desires as well as something that be important. But I feel like you're just, you're starting. There's something starting. I want to draw another card. Now I'm curious. Okay. So now I'm curious. I'm actually going to be using, if I can grab it, one of my new card decks that I got a few days ago. It's another miniature, but I absolutely love this one. Um, the, oh, I don't remember what it's called, actually. Orient, the Orientero, I think, maybe something like that. But this is it. It's all holographic, and I love it. So I want, actually, to clarify a couple of things. I want to clarify the Four of Wands which is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so definitely things are happening. Things are right, right inside up, basically. Uh, you know, I'm going to clarify all these. Oop, why is the nature card here? Okay, so we have the full card, taking a leap, understanding that the things that you're wanting to do is because, you know, you need to take that leap of faith. Don't let it drag you down. Understand, you know, be not naive, but understand that childlike glee, so to speak, when things are coming in as well. This is an Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh. Just dropped half the deck on my foot. <laughs> so I'm going to go grab that little guy. It drives me bonkers when I do that. So can we try clarifying things in a nicer way, please? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Just want like one or two cards, pretty please. Ace of Wands, please. We have the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is usually about, like, I feel like it's self-sabotage in a way. It's like, usually it's the card of betrayal, but it's like, what you're moving on I feel like it's the fear of betrayal as well. This also saying, like represents like, you know, obviously the swords are the mind. So it's like understanding what it is that you're moving on from, that you're lighting on fire, so to speak, is your fear of betrayal. Moving away from that, not letting it hold you back. And the six of swords, why are you here? Yes, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is pretty much like the, the, the proudly displayed card. I love how we also have the Ten as well. It's like everything that you're wanting to do, all the things that you are trying to accomplish. I'm actually going to put these on top. Actually, no, I'm just leave it. But like with the Nine of Pentacles, it's like you've worked so hard. You're able to display all of the progress you've made, whether it's mental or physical. Um emotional, whatever it is, you've done the work, you've moved on, you've, you know, made progressions and things, and you're able to proudly display that work. So then why is the world here? Why is the world card here? World tree card, however you want to look at that. Why are you here? Oop, boop, 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 boop. Yes, we have the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles, of course, is standing firm in your beliefs, standing firm in your strength and your power, but also being nurturing. You know, it's very much a figure of, um, you know, like we have the bull for this deck specifically, so it's like not backing down. But then, of course, we are understanding that it's someone who's, uh, you know, standing firm in themselves, knowing where they come from, knowing that they have security, that they have their ish figured out, however it is you want to look at that. And I'm in love with this moment right now because underneath the deck is the Two of Cups. And I'm just obsessed with the fact that it's, it's penguins because I love penguins. And it's also you know, complementary colors. So like, again, like if you're believing in twin flames and soulmates and things like that, then this is also kind of representative of that a little bit as well. Oh, I'm obsessed. You're going to get covered up, but I just, you know, I'm going to put you right down here for now. 
because I want to leave you out, actually. I want to leave you out so we can see you. Let me put you there. Okay. So with the Two of Cups, of course, that is the uh, card of a powerful connection. I feel like that's more of a relationship card than the Lover's card. I usually say that, and I feel like it's true. We have Raccoon Energy, Earth y'all <laughs> you guys are very artistic the raccoon is actually an artistic card so i feel like for a lot of you you're very artsy um maybe you might be actual artist or something like that or your hobbies include being very artistic however you want to look at that but i feel like also you sometimes hide behind the mask a little bit the raccoon does represent hiding behind the mask sometimes that's usually when it's in or out of balance. When it's in balance, of course, it's taking the mask off and showing your true self. So I feel like for a lot of you, you feel a need to put a mask on to maybe impress people or whatever it is. And then later, potentially, since we have two relationship cards, basically, when you're when you meet someone and you find your happiness and things like that, maybe that's when you're able to take the mask off and be like, this is who I am, this is me, you know, kind of just giving yourself over to this person. If this is not a relationship, and we're not starting a new relationship, whatever it is, then I feel like as well, you're going to be uh, just starting over potentially with yourself a little bit, finding that strength within yourself, finding the ways of yourself, finding stability, everything like that, and just understanding that you are wanting to find that balance within yourself, the duality, whatever it is. I'm 100% thinking this is a relationship reading, so I'm going to read it as such. <laughs> I feel like for some of you, this person... Mm. Yeah, I feel like the world with the King of Pentacles, I feel like for a lot of you, that's who's coming into your life is someone who is stable, who is strong and secure within themselves, secure within their life, everything like that. This person is just like they have it figured out, they have their life figured out, everything like that. They're not, you know, some little schmuck who's running around thinking that they are all that and they are not even then some and a chunk of change. So I feel like for a lot of you, you know, this person is is going to be coming in, everything's going to be great. I feel like for a lot of you, what you've been manifesting, even though you have to let it, you know, let it come to you, take a leap of faith and let it come to you, stop letting it trap you by continuously thinking about it. But for, I feel like for a lot of you, you've been manifesting a dream relationship, so to speak. You've been manifesting this person of your desires, your relationship, whatever it is. You're wanting to understand that, you know, I, I, I want someone in my life who isn't going to make me feel like crap or whatever. You're ready for a new relationship. I feel like for a lot of you, that's the Two of Cups moment. This December is going to be bringing in a lot for a lot of you. The next one we have here is Meditate and Contemplate with the New Moon in Pisces. Very interesting. So I love this card. I absolutely do. So this is all about stepping into, um, you know, yourself a little bit, understanding that things where you're coming from, whatever it is, is because you're needing to, um, like, you know, kind of just, you know, focus on what you're manifesting, basically. So Meditate and Contemplate, it's like, really focus on what you want. Of course, new moons, that's what it's all about. Focusing on what you want, not what you don't want. Manifesting what it is you truly desire and need as well. So I feel like for that is very much like, uh, you know, understanding that what it is you're wanting, you just, you gotta, you gotta let it be known, whatever it is. And here we have your commitment is being tested the first quarter moon. So I feel like with commitment, doesn't necessarily mean commitment with another person, although it could. But I feel like for that predominantly, it's actually talking about like what it is you're wanting to do. Your commitment to that is being tested, whether it's wanting a new career or wanting a new love life, whatever it is. It's like the universe is going to throw little curveballs here and there like, you sure you want this? Oh, you do. OK, well, here's another curveball and I'm going to throw it at you again. So I feel like for a lot of you, you've kind of dealt with people that are um, 
not the greatest in the world. Your past relationships have been kind of crummy. You know, maybe your last relationship, you know, probably wasn't someone who had the common sense of a Q-tip. So it was a situation where they were just absolutely ridiculous. And so you're ready for someone who's actually going to be this king of pentacles, who's actually going to bring on the ten of pentacles and the four of wands and help you overcome your fear of betrayal. So I feel like that's kind of what you're overcoming now, you're starting over with, is learning how to trust without your fear of betrayal. Next one we have here is the sacred pool. Sacred pool is very spiritual, at least for me, how I read this card. This is like 100% your ancestors are speaking and screaming at you and they are needing you to listen. Everything it is that they're trying to tell you, you either have been ignoring or you're listening, but then it's like you're kind of like letting your imagination run with it or something like that. The sacred pool also is very green, as you can see. So this is understanding your heart and understanding where your heart is coming from and listening when your heart needs to heal as well. We have talisman. Oops. So I love this card. This is such an interesting card. And then we have here, it's like a kind of like a little, little dragon. And then like this reminds me of like either like a timepiece or a pendulum, depending on how you want to look at that. So this, I love this card. This is kind of like finding a talisman for you personally, specifically, however it is you want to look at that, that is going to help you bring about your manifestations. So I'm actually working on a manifestation video on how like I manifest everything that I've actually achieved in my life and things like that. So I'm working on one of those videos next. But a talisman is also like, what can you do? How can you stand in your power, stand in your strength and bring about whatever it is you're wanting to manifest, whether that's carrying around a specific crystal or a good luck charm or whatever it is, understanding that what you are wanting is within your power. You just might need to incorporate a few tools here and there to kind of help you get it. And then we have sad embrace. So this one I feel does tie into hiding under here, that five of uh, swords, because it's like all the things that you are wanting, everything it is that you've had in your life, things like that is because you're kind of stuck in that moment of not being able to be happy for some of you because you were just stuck. You were so stuck in everything it is that you had before you weren't able to achieve your dreams and your goals because you just weren't able to get past some heartache that you had but then of course this is very blue of course which is definitely speaking your truth blue of course represents the throat chakra so it's definitely speaking your truth and like i said overcoming that sadness overcoming that fear and that betrayal and that that moment of like when is everything going to fall? Don't sabotage something by waiting for it to fall apart. I keep hearing listen and you'll be heard. So maybe listen. Your guides are trying to talk to you. They're trying to let you know that you're going to be okay. You just have to listen to them. So the next one we have is Galactic Healer. Move forward with an open mind. So I really feel like this is definitely letting you know that the things you're wanting to do and accomplish, you just have to let it be open. Like I said, you know, the, the universe is probably throwing some things at you. In this case, I really feel like it's a new relationship. So I feel like for a lot of you, it's like the universe is trying to give you the perfect person, but under there with the nature card, with the death card, technically, you're kind of like, or the devil card, I mean. So it's like, trying to be oh i think i've been saying death the whole time it's actually the devil card my bad so it's like you know needing to um be trapped like you know stop feeling trapped stop uh self-sabotaging yourself basically and you know move forward healing yourself but also letting things come in that need to become that need to come in at the same time so a lot of times people are manifesting you know their dream partner but they're so focused on like specific teeny weeny tiny little details that may or may not be present at that exact moment. So then they think that it's worthless or that it's not worth their time or whatever it is. So then you're not paying attention to the bigger picture, so to speak. Oh, hello. <laughs> what I say? Relationship reading. Y'all, eternal union. New love is forming. 
God, I love this card. I've actually never gotten this card in a reading ever. So this is beautiful. Um, this is fantastic. So like I was saying, this is a relationship. <laughs> Y'all are getting... Uh... You're getting your Two of Cups. You're getting your Four of Wands. You're getting that person that you've been manifesting. The guides, your ancestors, your spirits. Universe, whoever you walk with. They are letting you know that this person is coming in. Maybe this could also be like this person that you're drawing in is super artistic or whatever it is. So it could be a situation too where you're trying to draw in someone who is like you. If you're very artsy, usually artsy people want to be with someone who is creative or somewhat creative or something like that because it just works out that way. Not everybody, but a good chunk of people. So then trying to be with someone who's like-minded can definitely help. Last two cards we have here is the Snake Princess. The Serpent Path to Power. This is stepping into your power, stepping into your understanding. This is understanding that this definitely reminds me of Persephone. So it's like um, finding that balance between your darker side and your lighter side. So maybe doing a little bit more shadow work or something like that as well. So understanding your power and where it's coming from. So this, of course, does help with um, the... Um, like manifestation as well so like everything that you're manifesting everything you're desiring whatever it is you're wanting to do you have the power to change that write down your manifestations speak them out loud let the universe and your guides and whoever else know whatever it is you're wanting that way they can help you get it oh i love this card also i've never gotten this card in a reading so look at you pile number three mm. Artemis of the forest now you are independent and free so I feel like for a lot of you even though this is a moment of like I said this is very much relationship reading so I feel like for a lot of you though it's also a situation of the freedom like you know we have a stag and then the doe in the background so I feel like it's very much like the freedom to be yourself the freedom of having a true open beautiful relationship compared to like I said the schmucks before that didn't have the common sense of a q-tip so it's a situation where y'all are actually understanding that true freedom within a relationship comes with honesty and everything like that you're understanding where it is that you're wanting you know you're understanding what you want in a partner you're understanding where true relationships come from you know all of the things that are coming in all of the signs and signals and little things here and there that are going to be popping up for you, it's just going to be like one after the other. And it's going to be intense. It's going to be great. You're going to lose your mind. I love how there's a lot of green. There is actually quite a lot of green in here. Even like you know, the, the shading in the background for the Artemis card is all green. And of course you picked the little green scarfed snowman, which is beautiful. So there's a lot of heart healing that you do need to do or that you are currently doing. But then of course too, I feel like there's a lot of heart healing that's going to go on and going to continue with this new person. With this new love coming into your life, I feel like there is going to be a lot of heart healing that's going to, that they're, that they're going to help you be able to do. Sorry, I try to get my thoughts organized. Sometimes my mouth talks faster than I think, but so I really feel like there's a lot of things happening for you specifically that you're having to step into your power and let your desires, your wants, your manifestations and everything be known. So then we're going to be doing letters per usual and see what we can grab for your December, pile number three. And definitely let me know, like drop a comment down below if you feel like you are manifesting a new desire for love or whatever like that. If you're, you know, if you're you know, trying to manifest your perfect life, whatever it is, let me know in the comments. Do you have big plans for December? If you don't have plans for December, maybe this gave you some ideas, whatever that is, definitely let me know. And then of course it does help me if you like the video and subscribe as well. That way I know that, you know, what it is I am creating, you are liking, that way I can continue making the same content that y'all are actually wanting me to do. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, I have almost the entire bag in my hand. My gosh. Literally. Almost the entire bag in my hand. Okay. <laughs> There's only like three left in there, I think. 
All right, so we have L, we have W, I, we have two A's, another R, we have an M, and a Y. So of course I do see me, you know, the other way. I do see we as well, W-E. I see we are. I do see that just now, and I'm going to actually put that in here. We are. Because I just saw that. So we are. I feel like that is a thing, too. That is like a very much, you know, we are together. We are stable. We are amazing. We are everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, I see that for sure. And then, of course, you know, other than that, um, I feel like if your initials are in there, if it actually does spell out your name, I can't see anybody's. I see Ari, but I mean, but yeah, of course, that could also be like your name specifically as well. So, you know. But I'm going to be rolling the lucky dice as well, now that I've found that little bugger. But then we're going to be doing the normal dice as well, now that I can use them again properly. So then the white dice are going to be specifically pivotal moments in your life, and at least in this part, and at least at this point of December, that is going to be specific to whatever it is that you're wanting to do. But it's going to be something that's going to be pretty intense, like whatever it is you're wanting to do is going to be like, I can do this, it's going to be like that happy-go-lucky moment type of thing, whatever it is. Even though this might not be that exact day that something happens in December, it could be a situation where the energy itself actually shifts on that day. Okay, we got two sixes and a five. Interesting. Hmm. Something about the middle of the month, my gosh. So definitely something along the lines. Yes, I was just having to count the dots because I can't do math all the time very well. But yeah, so something about the 17th is definitely going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be a moment for you. I'm going to actually scoot that up a little bit higher. So then we're going to be rolling the black dice to see if there's anything. Now these are, sometimes I call these tower dice, but it's like there's going to be something that's going to shock you. Something is going to change up your foundation. Things are going to be shifting in a way that it needs to shift for whatever reason. So we're going to be rolling these and seeing what's going to be coming in for your December specifically. Interesting. So we got an eight. curious so definitely something around like that like just after the first week I feel like things are just going to start changing and things are going to continuously just grow and change and things like that this month December it's the end of 2020 I feel like pretty much everybody is done with 2020 at this point myself included so everyone's just wanting to go and do things and change and I feel like with this we are message and everything like that we are changing, we are growing, we are doing our own thing, which I feel like is definitely something as well. So then of course we have the red dice, even though they look orange on camera. This is love in general, so this could be the day that you meet the person, or if you're not looking for an actual relationship, even though this is very relationship based, but this could be a situation too where it's like the day that you decide to love yourself a little bit more or whatever it is. But this could also, like I said, be the day that energy decides to shift for your love life specifically. So even though you don't necessarily meet that person, you don't end up necessarily going on your first date or whatever on this day, it could be just when the energy starts to shift and things start to actually line up a little bit better. Okay, we got a nine. Okay, so we got a nine as well. Hmm. Maybe that's the shifting energy with that eight and then the nine right behind it. Maybe that's the shifting energy. There's something going on. I love how you got the four. And then, of course, we have the four just sitting here. I say this in most of my readings. I, I roll this randomly 
uh, before each reading. So then it just sits there at a, whatever number it sits at. So there's a lot of stability. There's a lot of, you know, four walls happening. A lot of, ooh, there's a lot of a relationship energy happening, which isn't bad. It's a good thing. Just probably going to scare a few people. <laughs> But we're going to roll this and see what else we can get. Oh, boy. Obviously, this cannot add up to anything. It can only go to six, but I'm very curious what number it does land on. If it lands on a two or a four. Oh. <laughs> There's so much four, like four, four, four. There's so much four. There's so much fours going on for you guys. Okay, it did land on five. I'm actually really glad for that. <laughs> but the five is also a number that represents you're not done yet. If you see five, 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 as far as numerology goes and like the repeating numbers world, then that is like something is coming into your life that is beyond what you expected it to be. It's so much better than you possibly could have thought it was. But also the five is, of course, in between five and ten. So it's a halfway point. So whatever it is you're doing, you're not done yet. However it is you're wanting to look at that, you're not done yet. Things are progressing. Things are also not done with you yet. So things are coming in, even though you're like, oh, okay, this and this and this, I manifested that. Great, cool. But then it's also, it's going to keep coming. It's going to keep growing. Things are going to keep getting better and better. It's not done yet. 100%, it's not done for you yet. You just have to wait and see what things are coming in that are going to be way bigger and way better and probably a little bit spicier than you potentially could have thought it was ever going to be in the first place. I freaking love this reading, you guys. This was potentially a little bit more intense than some of you might have thought it was going to be, but I feel like there's a lot coming in for you. December is going to be so game-changing. You're going to start to notice all of the things that you've been manifesting is just going to be like, boom, here it is going to be happening around that time second to third week of December is going to be massive for you second and third week is going to be pretty intense I think so I feel like it's going to be one of those moments where you're just going to start to notice all of these synchronicities and everything like that and you're going to be like whoa okay here we go but I definitely would like to know if you have any plans for December go ahead and let me know pile number three I am stoked to know if this is a situation also come back later let me know um if this is something that happens you can also message me on my social media it also it also is linked down below in the description you can message me on social media too and be like hey this actually happened that is great i love hearing it i love hearing when things resonate whatever it is but until next time pile number three this is what i got for you and your little two of cups and until next time know yourself and know your power bye Hey, pile number four, if this is one that you picked because you wanted pile number four, or if you were drawn to the little snowman with the little polka dotted scarf, then this is going to be your December 2020 reading. Going to be drawing up anything that's going to be coming up for love, career, or anything in general. Um, I don't see these cards. I draw them blind, meaning that I draw them exactly how you see them. So I don't know what they are until I actually flip them over. So this is just as much of a surprise for me as it is for you. And then, of course, going to be doing, now that I found my little lucky dice, going to be rolling that one. And then, of course, letters and numbers as well. So we're going to be starting with five tarot cards and see what we got for you all this December. First one we have is the Queen of Thames or the Queen of Swords. So this is the Green Witch Tarot. So it's done a little differently compared to the other one. Like this one's a perfect example of the High Priest. This one is the Magician. So it's just one of those things where the um, cards are done a little differently compared to the others. We have the Seven of Chalices, Seven of Cups. Ooh, we have the Two of Chalices as well. And then we have the Queen of Chalices. Okay, so you got a lot of lot of love. <laughs> you got a lot of um, a lot of emotional things happening for y'all. I love this. I think I said this is this is actually the Emperor. My bad. Um, I absolutely love this. So this is about being confident. I feel like for some of you, you are maybe entering in a new relationship. 
potentially, you know, never know. Usually the, the two uh, does represent a new relationship or just a strong partnership in some sort. Um, with the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups is being a little confused by all of your options. So I feel like it's a situation too where you see that there's so many options and de decisions that you need to make before you, you're kind of just daydreaming a little bit. So I feel like it could be a situation where you might be starting to manifest a new relationship or a new desired relationship in December. I feel like for a lot of you as well, you're gaining that confidence in order to do that. And of course you have the queen of emotions and mentality basically on either side. So it's essentially just learning how to balance your emotions, how to balance your heart versus your mind type of situation. So I feel like a lot of you are really in that headspace or going to be in the headspace of de in December of stepping into yourself and understanding where it is you're coming from. And then we have the beaver, which is another water sign. So I feel like a lot of you potentially are water signs that are watching this one. So this is adorable and I love it. So that is all about, uh, the beaver is resourceful. The beaver is knowing, the beaver energy knows, or the beaver spirit rather, knows how to be creative. They're very creative. They are also someone who is, you know, dependable. You know, the, there are other animals that do rely on the beaver dams and things like that when they make them. So, of course, it's, um, you know, its own little ecosystem within that. So, of course, the beaver is someone that can come to or the, can, that people rely on, that other animals rely on. So, I feel like it's a situation, too, where you are that person that people rely on. You are their rock. You are someone that they can come to for advice or whatever it is. And it's a situation, too, where you probably help people a lot. You are that person that they come to when they need help. Okay. Your next one is new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. So I feel like for a lot of you, the action that you are needing to take is because you are, you're ready. Whatever it is that you're manifesting, you're being strong and you're manifesting your own desires. Like I said, if you're manifesting a new relationship, great. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's time to take action, whether you're wanting to seek out something or whatever it is. I feel like for a lot of you, now is the time to do that. Hold your vision with the fixed moon. So I feel like for a lot of you, you might, like I said, kind of with that seven of cups energy, seven of chalices energy, you're kind of like, eh, I see all of my options. I'm not sure where to go. It feels a little wishy-washy, whatever it is. So it's understanding where you're coming from, knowing what you want and going for what it is you want but potentially making a bit of a pros and cons list, either physically or in your mind, whatever it is. That way you can see, you know, this is what I want and this is what I want, but also understanding that wherever it is you want to put your desires and however it is you want to organize your thoughts, that's where you're needing to understand that. So a lot of times too, when people are manifesting, they just, you know, they, they always say the thing, you know, I want this, I want this, I want this. But when you're manifesting your desires, you have to be in the headspace. You already have it. You know, I'm manifesting the, you know, the, the, the partner of my dreams. Perfect. In your, in your headspace, you should already be like, I don't need a partner because I'm, I'm sure that a lot of you have noticed as well, um, potentially is that, you know, when you're desperate for attention, desperate for a relationship, whatever it is, and you end up in a relationship, usually it's with a dork who doesn't have the common sense of a Q-tip. So then you end up in a really bad relationship. It's crappy. They're, you know, they don't give you attention. They are just no good, whatever it is. So then you end up in a really just toxic situation. So then of course it comes down to being in, you know, oh, sounds strange, but like having that duality, that balance, I love how this also was rolled on it too. But of course, it's like that balance, that duality, that partnership within yourself. That way you can draw in that perfect partner, which always is so much easier said than done, of course. But it's one of those things, too, where you have to understand that your partner is already in your life. Y'all are on the same page emotionally, spiritually, whatever it is. You just have to attract that by being in the energy of I already have it. And that's how manifestation works. You have to be in the headspace that I already have it. You're going to project that energy outwards and you're going to draw in that which you actually desire. 
ride the wave. I love that it's dolphins, y'all. Yes, there's no. Okay. I, let me know in the comments or anything like that if y'all are actually like water signs because there's so much water happening. So much water energy. So I feel like, down here. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're needing to ride the wave. Take things day by day. Take it as it comes in, so to speak. That way you're able to just like accept new things. You know, a lot of times two people get so stuck in their manifestations that they're looking for teeny tiny details that don't matter. But then of course, um, when things actually start coming in, you don't recognize it because you're looking for the tiny detail that actually literally doesn't even matter. The bigger detail that actually does matter and that's way better than the detail you came up with is actually staring you right in the face, but you're blinded a little bit. So riding that wave is definitely gonna come in for you. Come together. So this is a card that is like understanding when to ask for help and literally a heart right smack dab in the middle. So understanding that when you need help, it's okay to ask for help. It's perfectly fine. No one's gonna hold it against you. If they do, then they are jerks, but definitely understand that it's okay to ask for help when you need it. But also understanding that when you need help, Sometimes the person that you need to be asking is right in front of you looking at you in the mirror. Yourself is, you can help yourself more than you actually think you can, which is something that a lot of people don't want to hear because they want to look for outside sources. Be your own hero. Don't sit there and, you know, be the, the queen of emotions and, and the queen of mentality. Understand that your mentality and your emotions, finding that balance and duality within yourself is because you are the one person that knows how to do that. The next one we have is movement. So there's a lot of movement that is happening for this December. December is the end of the year, of course. People are pretty over it. People are wanting it to end to be done. But then, of course, too, it's a situation where with the, with the movement card specifically, it's talking about you need to move holding your vision, taking action, literally, you need to move and you need to make your manifestations, your desires, your dreams, your wants and aspirations known. Of course, it's a thing too, and sit there and be like, oh, it would be nice to have this, then go towards that, whatever it is, make your intentions known. That way you can actually attract what you really want. Sitting on your butt is not going to get you anywhere. Okay. Channel your knowledge, critical judgment. So with channeling your knowledge, this is like listening to whoever it is that is in your head, so to speak. It sounds a little wrong, but like listening to your guides, everything that you know, we see over here too with the eyeballs and everything, like kind of channeling your intuition as well. So letting your guides and everyone come through and let you know, I have this amazing opportunity for you. You know, your guys are probably like, I have this amazing opportunity for you and you're ignoring me. I need you to pay attention. So then, of course, paying attention and channeling that, whether that's manifesting by physically writing it down, whatever that is, understanding that your guides, whoever it is you walk with, they're going to help you. They're going to keep coming to you. They're going to let you know when things are going on that you need to understand and that you need to hear. It could be a message you don't necessarily want to hear, but it's a situation that you need it at that given point in time. Your next one is living light energy. See the beauty in life. So for some of you, you might not always see the beauty within yourself, the beauty within life in general, whatever that is. So that could be that movement that you're needing to do and needing to have is recognizing when you need to move forward. Right, right, right. I, that really just reminds me of uh, Avatar because I'm a little bit of a nerd. So... <laughs> And not the not the Airbender, the James Cameron movie. Um, but I feel like it's learning the balance, and, and because that always reminds me of that film, it's always like finding that balance within yourself. Again, duality keeps coming up for this reading so strongly. Learning where your balance is coming from, your heart versus your mind, that fire energy versus the water energy, whatever it is, finding that duality and that acceptance within yourself, that way you can be that person that you need to be, the person that you're aspiring to be, you can do that. You can be that person. You just have to step up and actually recognize that power within yourself. The next one is, whoops, strange companions in stranger places. Challenges? Use your imagination. 
I love this, especially because it's Alice in Wonderland over here, which I absolutely love. And then, of course, we have Snow White on the other side as well. So this is definitely about a companionship, but also, like I said, learning your mind versus your heart, this, the, the darker side compared to the lighter side within yourself. So I feel like for a lot of you, it could be uh, a really good time in December for uh, some shadow work or therapy of some kind, something like that. That way you can understand yourself. Give yourself more love, give yourself more light, understand the light coming from within you, everything like that as well. But also this could be, uh, you know, finding love where you might not have expected it, you know? It could be just that one inkling. I don't know why I felt I need to start talking about this. Yes, I do, because I was told to. But one of the things too, when a lot of people are like, oh, I randomly decided to go to this place all of a sudden, and I met the love of my life. That one random little voice in your mind, whatever it is, when your, your guides are actually talking to you and you're like, hey, you usually go to this coffee shop, but there's a new one that opened up down the street. Go try it. So then you just randomly go there. Finding random people, basically finding, you know, the, the best partnerships, friendships, whatever that is, in places you might not have actually recognized before or places you might not have normally have gone to in the beginning. And then we have two kittens. You must choose. So with this one, this is a situation about like, like I said, with the, with the um, what is that card? S uh, Seven of Cups card down here. It, it's all about, you know, you have choices. You feel a little bobbleheaded. You're not entirely sure where you want to go. You feel like you're kind of lost in the clouds a little bit. So making those decisions now and understanding the choices you're having to make is because you are where you need to be. And making the decisions for yourself, that way you can get, whoops, where you need to be as well. Because a lot of times we don't always um, see where we need to go necessarily. Because a lot of times we're so, like I said, caught up in whatever it is that we want. We're not paying attention to things that are coming in that we actually need. So then for some of you, you might need to do a little bit of an energy reboot. You know, kind of like get rid of a few things from a past relationship or something like that that you're kind of holding on to. And I feel like for earth signs, wrong water signs, excuse me. I feel like for a lot of water signs, y'all do that a lot. And my moon sign is in Pisces, so I definitely do this crap a lot too. I feel like a lot of times, you know, water signs end up being so attached to things. We're like, oh, I can't get rid of this because, you know, I've had it since I was four. But if it's a situation too, where if it causes you pain, get rid of it. It's going to suck for like 30 seconds and then you'll be fine. Like understanding that where you need to make changes, when you need to make the changes, is where you need to take the action. Because right now, you're in a headspace of, you know, this would be nice, oh, I would love to do this, I wish I could do that, then do it. Take the action and do it. So then, of course, we're going to be doing some letters as well. If I can get one out here. Going to be doing some letters and seeing what we can grab for your December. these okay let me get my hand out of the back here well that was dramatic <laughs> so we have two s's we have a u we have three t's okay two h's a lot of repeats repeating things going on here there's an r an e Interesting. I'm trying to see if I can see anything, but I don't see anything off the top of my head. No, I do. I, I see rest, actually. Get rid of one of these S's down here. So I feel like for a lot of you, you do need to rest and have a resting moment. Do I feel like for a lot of you, you need to rest. That way you're able to really, you know take the bull by the horn, so to speak, and just roll with it, whatever it is you're wanting to do, all these dreams and aspirations that you need to do, you do need to hit a little bit of a rest period so you can recharge. Because I feel like, and again, water signs are, you know, used to giving so much of themselves. It's an emotional uh, sign in general. So you're so used to being like a people pleaser that you need to recognize when the time to stop 
being a people pleaser in order to regenerate yourself so you can keep going. That way you don't lose your mind. So then we're going to be doing, now that I found my lucky dice, we're going to be rolling that. And then I'm going to be rolling the other dice as well, now that I can properly use them. So then the white dice, if I can get it. These are going to be pivotal moments that are going to be significant to December, of course. It's going to be something that is, um, you know, when the energy shifts for a good thing. So this could be like if you're in a new relationship venture, it could be that, that you know, something like that. Or it could be, you know, the day you get a new career, whatever it is, is going to be just when the energy shifts into a better light for you. I really feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be like relationship based. <laughs> okay. Put that over here. Interesting. So I feel like the 11th is going to be something pretty intense. Not bad, but just going to be something that's going to be like, okay, like it's going to be just staring at you right in the face and, and you don't have any chances of running away and it's time to take action basically. So then of course here, the black dice, I do call these tower dice sometimes, but it's going to be a situation where the pivotal moment is going to be something that you need to hap happen. It's going to be something that needs to change, whatever it is, it needs to happen for whatever reason. So it's going to be something with that specifically. And the ninth, interesting. So I feel like for you, that moment is going to be coming in around that second week and then things are just going to progressively get better. You're going to notice a lot of synchronicities and things that are happening and things that, you know, potentially the day that you get put in a rest period, a lot of times too, when you're not paying attention, um, the universe kind of like just forces you into a stopping point. So I feel like for a lot of you, the that stopping point is going to be somewhere in that second week of December and things are just going to progressively get better. So then here, going to be, even though these look orange, these are going to be the red dice, going to be for love. This could be when you decide to, you know, stop hating yourself almost and just like start loving yourself a little bit more. Or since this is also a lot of duality within potentially another partner or a person, that uh, it could be a situation too where the day that you meet the one it doesn't always have to be that way, but usually it is. It's just gonna be the day that the energy just shut that the day the energy decides to shift in a better light, so to speak. We have eight and then we have eleven. Interesting. Oop. Okay, and then we have twelve. So fascinating. I feel like for that, like I said, there's something going on on the 8th-ish. Doesn't have to be on that day specifically. It just could be the day that the energy shifts, whatever that is. And then 11 and 12, that I think that's the third week. It could be like the combination of the second and third week is going to be just things are going to be happening. Things are going to be good. Things are going to just start progressively getting better. You just got to ride the wave. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the... Um, what is it? The full card a little bit. You just have to kind of just take a leap of faith. Just kind of jump for it a little bit. <laughs> Gonna be rolling the lucky dice and seeing what we can grab for anything that way. That one was a weird roll. I'm gonna roll it again just to see. Because that one was weird. Weird. Okay, third time's a charm. I don't know why I feel that, like, every time I go to, like, put the dice down, it's like, don't put it down, and then I drop it anyways. Okay, so, that, okay, that one was a better roll. I'm gonna leave that as a five. Oh my goodness. So, with a five, mm, almost every single pile has gotten the five. But the five is just something with that first week. Like, five is also the halfway point between... 5 and 10, of course, or 0 and 10. So the 5 is like, you know, you're not done yet. There are things that still need to be done. There are things that are still happening, whatever it is. You're not done yet. Everything like that as well. So I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be like that pivotal moment 
you know, like I said, somewhere around that first week is going to be something happening a lot. And then you're just going to be progressively doing things and things are going to be getting better, whatever it is. But definitely let me know, like, you know, liking the videos and, and subscribing to things like that definitely lets me know that the content that I'm making is something that actually resonates with you and you're able to really connect with it. But then, of course, too, letting me know in the comments if you actually have plans for December. I'm very curious. Are you starting a new venture, whatever that is? Is there something going on for your December that you are actually doing? I'm very, very curious. Definitely let me know. And of course, you can also like, you know, I have a social media link down below. So definitely letting me know, um, like you can message me on Facebook or Instagram, whatever have you and being like, hey, this actually, you know, this happened. Of course, these are generalized readings. So not everything 100%. Like it doesn't have to be necessarily the eighth, you know, for you personally, nothing could happen on the eighth. Again, even though usually that's like a situation where the energy can kind of shift, you might not actually feel it, but the energy could shift. And then something with the 11th and 12th is going to be something that's pretty, pretty intense. But I feel like you're definitely going to be having to rest. That way you can actually just regenerate yourself, learn. Also with the Queen of Cups as well. The Queen of Cups knows when she needs to put the lid over her cup basically. So she knows when to cover it. So she stops spilling so much of herself out to other people. She knows that there is a limit. You know, can't pour from an empty cup. So she does know where there's a limit. And I feel like that is a resting point that you need to learn about is where and when to rest. That way you don't overextend yourself to the point where you're just so exhausted all of the time. Definitely needing to learn how to do that is always something that happens I feel like for a lot of you, you might be some Pisces, but definitely let me know. But I'm very, very, very excited for your December. There's going to be a lot that's happening for you. Definitely a lot of like intuitive moments. You're just going to need to listen to your intuition, I feel like, and kind of don't be afraid to ask for help as well. Even if that's help turning yourself off, so to speak. So when you feel like you're giving yourself all the time, you know, giving so much of yourself to other people, giving so much of your time to other people. I feel like when you ask someone or even like outright say, you know, I'm tired, I'm sorry, I can't do this right now, there's nothing wrong with actually setting your boundaries as well. So definitely learning about a few boundaries is going to be good for you as well. Okay, group number four, this is what I have for you. Like I said, definitely let me know in the comments or anything like that, like the video, things like that. Let me know what you have. I was very curious what the, what was going to happen with the little polka dotted snowman and this is actually pretty exciting. This is great. I know it seems a little heavy, but this is great. This is going to be good for you. December is going to be a month that you are going to own it and you're going to need to step into yourself. So until next time, group number four, know yourself and know your power.